What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the details. I'm sure everybody by now understands and heard that Derek James is going to sue Errol Spence. Uh, Derek James, Errol Spence, they've been together for years. Since Errol Spence started his career, he's been with Derry James, right? And now they are at a crossroads. It's been said that Derry James has put Errol Spence out the gym. Now, we heard that uh, uh, Errol Spence obviously is looking for a new home. Errol Spence put that up on social media. Uh, it was said that Errol Spence was parting ways with Derry James. And now it's said that. Um, Part of the reason is because of Derrick James feeling like he's being shortchanged in his pay, right? And I'll say this, winning cures everything. Winning cures everything. As Errol Spence was winning, this was never a problem. Never a problem, you didn't hear any of this. Uh, Errol Spence, lost now to Terrence Crawford July 29th and now there's an issue now they're parting ways not only did he lose he got dominated by Terrence Bud Crawford let's be honest he got dominated in the fight right he got stopped he got dropped in the second twice in the seventh then stopped in the ninth he got stopped in the fight and that was the biggest purse of Errol Spence's career, right? They said he walked away with, report said he walked away with $25 million, right? And Derrick James, apparently, as I told you guys on the live stream, right? Derrick James is, you know, um, looking to get normally typically just to give you guys a back view your your trainer usually the trainer usually gets about 10 percent of the fighter's purse right but the way the pbc operates okay they give small guaranteed purses so the guaranteed purse of the fighter the trainer usually gets about 10 percent that's that's the you know uh um the standard right they usually get about 10% of the purse, right? Now, how, you know, uh, some trainers and some fighters work different things out and negotiate, you know, uh, different different things, that's up to them. But the normal is about 10%, right? So the way the PBC operates, they give you a small guaranteed purse and you receive the bulk of your money on the back end. So now it's said that Errol Spence is giving Derrick James 10% of the guarantee purse, which is the smallest number, okay? So to use the Terrence Crawford fight as an example, just to give you an example. Now these numbers may or may not be accurate, but just to give you guys an example, it said that Errol Spence got a guarantee purse of $2.5 million for the Terrence Crawford fight. So 10% of $2.5 million is 250,000, right? Okay, so Derrick James got 250,000. Now it said that Errol Spence on the back end walked away with 25 million. So Derrick James is not getting a portion of the 25 million. If Derrick James got 10% of the 25 million, then that means he would have received 2.5 million. That means that he got shortchanged in his mind, allegedly, $2.2 million. Because if he was going to receive 2.5 million out of the 25 million that Errol Spence received, right? Then that means if he got 250,000 of the 2.5, he 
he would have he he come up short. He he stand to lose two point two point two million. Now the thing about it is, if this holds to be true, based off of those examples of numbers, that means Errol Spence could have just gave him his, that would have been his guaranteed purse that he received. He would have gave Derrick James two point five million. That's that was his two his guaranteed purse, and then he received the 25 million. So he didn't receive, Errol Spence would not have received, based off of those examples, he would not have received the guaranteed purse. It would have all went to Derrick James, right? So total, he would have made $27.5 million in total. And out of that $27.5 million, he would have stand to have to give Derrick James 2.5. Now there's numbers, different numbers floating around. Uh, uh, of what the number is that Derrick James is looking to receive from Errol Spence. But at the end of the day, you are only worth what you negotiate. So if he did a handshake deal on morals and handshake and loyalty with no paperwork, you, you're going to lose. Even though you say, well, you feel like he's loyal, he's standing on morals, he's, stand -up, he's a stand-up guy. When you involve money, you can't rely on that. You have to rely on hard facts, paperwork, no matter the relationship. Money destroys all relationships. Divorces, husband and wives, family relationships, it destroys all relationships. So if Derry James didn't have it in writing that he was going to receive 10% of, of everything, then you taking a major loss. So, if he stood to make 10% of the 27 million in total that Errol Spence made, then that means he would have made uh, $2.7 million, Derry James. So this is truly unfortunate. So now the initial talking points was that Errol Spence was walking away from the negotiations. I mean, excuse me, Errol Spence was walking away from Derry James and everybody immediately assumed that's because of he was he was ill prepared for Terrence Crawford uh and he wasn't properly you know uh trained for Terrence Crawford and where is he going next since Errol Spence put it on social media a cryptic message got to find a new home now it said that and you saw the gym his bag was gone his posters was gone right and it said that now Derry James kicked Errol Spence out the gym because Errol Spence wasn't true to his word. Hopefully this all gets ironed out uh, and fixed. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But Derrick James is suing Errol Spence and it said that, you know, uh, again, like I said, I reached out to my source and they said, listen, yeah, that he was getting the percentage off the guaranteed purse, which was the initial purse that PBC puts forth. And that was okay because Errol Spence wasn't making massive amount of money on the back end. But in this fight with Terrence Crawford, he made a massive amount of money on the back end. And winning cures everything. He lost. Winning cures everything. When you win it, it covers up everything. When you lose, it exposes all the, the issues. All the turmoil. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.